<laughs> you emitted a noise. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that light. Hey, what's up, guys? What's this? We were tagged in a video this yeah. week by some wonders, <laughs> the Wondering Wagners. We were tagged to do Hoped. like a little tra travel Q and A because we haven't done a whole lot of traveling in the RV. We've done some traveling though. Yeah, I we can all encompass the like yeah. I don't travel much at yeah, all, I know. but we thought we would answer them and. Superset that with a super with a little bit of fun outdoor ring stuff because Matt and I are both trying to become awesome with body weight exercises. I'm just Not trying really to lift my body weight above well. a bar. First question: Do you like to travel alone or in a group? Yes. <laughs> it's completely different things, and so it's like you have to have a different mindset. Um, the easy answer is I like to travel in a group. I like to be around a lot of people, especially like-minded people. So like, say family, friends, you just go out with them. But it's kind of fun just to go, what, what? You're always with me. I like to travel alone. <laughs> you like to travel alone? <laughs> You're with me though. Yeah, but we count as one. <laughs> That's why you already leaning that way. Man, your feet are all gross. <laughs> what, am, I, am I supposed to change my answer because you don't like them? No, I mean, I like, I guess it depends on the situation. But I mean, we also have not like traveled with groups. I, yeah. I mean, I've been okay. wanting to do a caravan for a while. And I, so. I like to travel, like I like people, but I also like to have my alone time. So as long as I'm assured that I'll have some alone time in this group trip, then I'm, I'm, I'm That's good. That's what the RV I'm is good. for. Like okay. this area is for us. Cool. Stay out of our area. Well, this is already a good start. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most difficult trip or hike to date? Ooh, had nothing to do with RV. Colorado. No. Well, yeah, that's probably the harder one that we've been on. Mm -hmm. But we did it also three times, so that tells you it's not that difficult, really. But it was several hours. We were out for like eight hours. We hiked in Breckenridge? Yeah. We hiked in Breckenridge. I don't know what it was. It wasn't a 14-er, because that was... No. It was about... I think it got up to 12, 12 or 13. Something? Yeah. Yeah. So um, but it was, it right was next to a 14-er. Several hour hike. It was really cool. Yeah. And we did go back, but we had to plan because it would take us several hours up and then we went up to the top and then we came back down yeah um so i i guess that was the most difficult hike as far as trips go i mean well so my most difficult hike which it wasn't really a hike was uh so i broke my leg recently and then i got on some crutches and then i decided to do a i forgot how long it was it turned out to be like a 5k roughly if you doubled it i think that's what it was and so but i did that on crutches with obstacles that was probably the, the most difficult hike. Has nothing to do with an RV. And there's a video on that, by the way, guys. There's a video so on that. Feel free to check that out. Yeah, my stupidity. What outdoor activities do you do during the winter? Taking care of camper stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was most of the time that we spent outside, really. So we're not really uh, winter goers by any means. Like, we don't really do a lot outside. Uh, I used to love snowboarding. Um, but again, we haven't been in years and. I'm hoping to get back into it after the leg completely heals. We try to do the same things in the winter that we do in the summer, minus swimming. Minus because swimming. before this year, Texas winters are pretty mild. So you can actually still get outside. We can still kind of climb depending on the day and mm -hmm. the weather. We can still hike, like, except for this winter. Because this winter was completely... But it if was we're talking like about a real winter. Texas winter or just like a regular winter. Like, so what people mostly think of about winter is like cold, probably snow, stuff like yeah. that. Uh, in that kind of weather, we really just take pictures. Yeah. That's about it. We just get yep. out there. We don't move a lot. Well, I guess we move as much as we can and we don't stay out in it very long unless there's like a good activity. What's the most beautiful place sleeping so far? So RV, I'll stick to RV. Uh, so the best places that we've slept uh, was it was actually here in Texas because we haven't been out of Texas yet with the RV. Uh, the best place was in Georgetown, I think it was, or right outside of Georgetown. It was Cedar Breaks. Which we we actually we we stayed there twice. Up by the lake. Uh huh. And we backed it up. Um, oh yeah, that remember? was really pretty. We backed it up to the lake, and so you can yeah. actually open our uh, bathroom window, and that was really which it pretty. like kind of looks out over the whole lake, and so yeah, it was actually really nice that time. Yeah. That was the trip that. Hey, let's talk about the broken leg some more. Well, we got back in.
just breathing behind the camera. <laughs> Next question. Have you been seriously injured outdoors? No. Can I go first? Sure. Do you remember when I rolled my ankle in the driveway last year? That doesn't. <laughs> That's not a serious injury. It's outdoor was... injury. Fine. Sure. You rolled your ankle um, while walking down a driveway. I have rolled my ankles probably seven times total, alternating between the two. Uh, all done outdoors, I think. Most done outdoors. Um, I have reoccurring ankle injuries. Tennis is what started it. I rolled my ankle several times playing tennis and now they're weak. And then I rolled my ankle walking down the driveway to go for a jog last year. So that's cool. Yeah. Well, no, I've, had a, I've had a concussion. I've had a, I've actually only broken things or fractured things inside, but I've had a, a probable concussion. I never got it actually checked out. I fractured a thumb. I've, so yeah, I also got hit in the eye with a tennis ball. That was outside. It uh, scratched my cornea. So nothing major. So no, not really. No major. The only stuff I've, I've broken was indoors. So, you yeah, guys rock remember? Climbing. Thumbs up if you remember. <laughs> yeah. Give me a thumbs up. We you. don't have to revisit, but no. With, yeah, if you're new to the channel, Matt broke his leg last year climbing. So. Yeah. I'm standing on it now. So yeah, so, yeah that's that. Uh, do you practice any special survival techniques? I made a fire before. That counts. Survival techniques. I... Mm. No, because I always try to stay within help distance. We don't do a whole lot of like primitive hiking or camping. Yeah. I'm not really interested in it. I'm very interested in it. So I want to actually go out on my own, <laughs> completely by myself. Um, so this is where we alter. So it's like yeah. with an RV, I want to actually caravan with people. With camping, I actually want to go out on my own and stay out for several days and see what I can do. Um, so soon, hopefully. I'll be right here. Yeah, I know you'll be right here. So. I wouldn't let you go alone. No, I want to go alone. Let um, me go alone. No. All right, next question. <laughs> what are your favorite recipes cooking outdoors? Cooking outdoors? Yeah. I mean... Uh, we didn't make it, but Chris is chili. Oh, outdoor? Mm -hmm. He did it outdoors. I'm just thinking of like camping stuff, and I'm pretty traditional when it comes to camping food. Like we always do hot dogs. Um, we used to do scrambled eggs, which now we could just do scrambled tofu. Um, Burritos, like taco. Oh no, breakfast tacos with the scrambled tofu. Heck yeah. Um, throw a little bit of like sorrizo in there. Sandwiches, trail mix. That's not cooking. So this is not for. Okay, so there's two different styles. There's RV, which yeah, I can make anything in an RV. But then there's actual camping, which I think this is referring to. Right, and that's why I said and hot dogs and, and yeah, scrambled but eggs. That won't Flash last tofu. very long. And so also, it's what kind of camping. And so like, if it's like long-term, like there's things that you can take that are dried, you know, and stuff like that. And so that stuff stays pretty simple. So it's like rice, so rice meals. and beans and things like mm -hmm. that, or the ready meals. So now you can keep it pretty simple, but just a couple seasonings, things like that. So really it's just rice and beans for me. I just like that. I even eat that in a normal meal. Yeah. But uh, in the camper, I mean, literally anything. anything. Um, yeah. I guess burgers too are always yeah. easy and fun to do outdoors, like grilling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, how do you motivate yourself in bad weather? Ooh. Oh. I'd um, say it like that. Ooh, because I just like the idea of motivation. Oh, you just the idea of it. <laughs> Getting outside at some point yeah. to get some vitamin D. That's one of the best things because yeah. I severely felt the uh, seasonal anxiety disorder. I felt that this year because of how much time we had to spend indoors. Um, so now more than ever, I know the power of just the sun, <laughs> uh, how much it plays into your overall mentality, motivation, well-being. So I guess just getting outside as much as possible, getting in nature, um, and then just trying to enjoy and make the most out of each situation. So even if you are stuck inside, try and do something that you enjoy. Yeah. My to-do list is always crazy. I'm always adding things onto it. So that's really all it is. It's just uh, things I like to do. It's like, and the only thing that bothers me, it's not being stuck inside all the time because I can always just play music or write something, you know, and do, do all that kind of stuff. And so I never really get that seasonal anxiety or any kind of depression or anything. The only thing I just get anxious, like anxious, I antsy. guess. A little antsy. Yeah. 
So that's that's a little bit like I just get that just like because I want to actually do a few things outdoors. Like I wanted to start the whole woodworking thing. I wanted to go clean like the barn and stuff like that that we have around, and uh, actually create a workshop and do all that stuff, which uh, was holding me back for about a month there just because it was too cold and wet. The biggest thing is the wet. And that's pretty much it. Just doing things, to do lists. Oh. Yeah, just always having things to do. Because okay. you can always bump things for other things and then you can still be productive. And so I think a lot of it is just productivity. Just make sure you're always doing something new. Where would your dream trip be? In the RV or in general? No, let's say RV. Okay, in RV. the RV. I think Colorado. That's your dream trip? I don't know. I don't know the possibilities. I just want to go to the mountains. I'm pretty sure your dream trip would be Disney World still. Oh, no, because I mean, we've also been to Disney World. Not necessarily in the RV. In the mm -hmm. RV, I, I kind of equate more with adventure. And don't get me wrong, if somebody offered me a free RV stay in Disney, I would take it, but I want to go somewhere whenever we open the windows and I'm like, wow, that is nature. <laughs> yeah. So my trip, it's actually, since they said trip and not specific location, it's uh, definitely down to Florida. I would like, like to go to the Keys, just check that whole situation out. Mm -hmm. Go back up to Orlando, hang out at Disney for a, a sec, mm -hmm. you know, just maybe maybe even Universal. We like Universal. Mm -hmm. um, hit that up, you know, the whole tourist thing. And then I'd like to actually go just straight across uh, Chattanooga, maybe for a little bit of climbing, and then pass through Colorado, up to Oregon, and then back down the coast, and then back over across uh it doesn't really matter about that part. I, I like just basically once I go down the coast, I want to just come back over. Oh, uh, back to Texas. I mean, yeah, I agree. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, the amount of driving and wear I'm and tear on the one RV. Location, but yeah. Those are the locations I want to hit. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. What's the heaviest piece of equipment you carry while hiking? Him. <laughs> 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 you don't carry me. Um, I guess because a lot of hiking that we do is to climb. Yep, that's what so I'll do too. Our rope bag. Yeah, just the whole bag. Um, really, it's just yeah, our climbing gear, and that's mm -hmm. probably the heaviest thing. The rope is pretty dense, and then also there's a couple of metal pieces like carabiners and things like that. Draws. Yeah, so carabiner, rope, shoes, chalk, chalk Speaker. bag, speaker, harnesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how much do you think that weighs? Uh, not too much, like 50 pounds. Probably right. But plus you also have to carry water and things like that. So mm -hmm. uh, probably the most inconvenient thing that we've had to carry is water. Just cause you can't, like you can throw it in a bag and it just weighs things down weird. Or you can hold it and your hands just get tired pretty quick along the hike, which is very annoying. So yeah, cause we always carry gallons. We carry gallons. Um, so. Cause we, there's usually several people. We need dogs. some for the dogs. Yeah. We need some for ourselves. Um, so yeah, that's probably say the, the most inconvenient yeah. one. I'd say, because yeah. the rope bag you can just throw over your shoulder. Yeah. And then we don't have one yet, but a uh, crash pad. pad. But that's, again, just most inconvenient. What was this? Heaviest. Yeah, it's the heaviest. It's just the rope, really. All right, so last question. I feel like I know the answer for you. What is your favorite camping gear? Climbing gear? It's not camping gear, though. <laughs> but it's what we camp with. Tent? Because <laughs> it houses us? Right? There's few things, like there's several things I want, I don't have yet. And so this answer is hopefully gonna change soon, but specifically for camping, yeah, I guess it's our tent. That's sad. I mean, if it's hiking stuff, like uh, my favorite gear is just the rock climbing gear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like a specialty item and things like that. It's just real nice, but hammock. <laughs> Did that scare you? What are you growling at? What? What is it? He doesn't know. He's looking in all directions. Oh my gosh. Hammock, air chair. <laughs> That's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Please make sure and hit that thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if y'all have any other questions, um, feel free to post them below. We'd love to do another Q and A. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. We sometimes travel, um, <laughs> sometimes we don't, and we show you our life. And that's us. Yeah, and our dogs. And there's our dogs. dogs. Yeah, involved. there are dogs. That's if anything, stick around for them because they climb. Awesome. There's fitness stuff. Fitness, food, travel, sometimes not travel, RV. That's us. Okay, yeah. thank you guys for watching. Have fun out there. Bye. <laughs>